All right, we're headed after him this morning. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to sell film a Mississippi dog hunt for y'all. I know some of y'all probably, some of y'all probably never even heard of deer hunting with dogs. We've been doing it for a long time here in Mississippi. We've got a, two different dog seasons in our deer season. So we're gonna go meet up spot. We meet up every morning, discuss what we're gonna do. Go surround a block of woods and put some dogs in it. See if we can't run a big one out. Pull up some meeting spot now. See what everybody wants to do. All right, we got a big rain yesterday. It flooded out the lake bottom. So we're up in the hills today. We got this. Got this block here surrounded. Gonna turn loose in it. Everybody set up on escape routes and crossing and stuff. We gonna turn out. Maybe get us a big one going. Dogs finally jumped, kind of circled around to a newer cut over from where I turned loose at. They finally jumped, working their way this way. I'm gonna try to get up here where I can see down this SMZ that comes through this cut over they like to cross on. I'm gonna try to get up here and watch it. Maybe they'll bring something by me or spook something out. Got him. Whew, I got that sucker. Get down here, dude. The dogs were running them, but he was just worried about chasing that doe. I don't know how my tactic cam on. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's probably 200 yards across here. Get down here, Timmy. Dogs was running them. He was chasing that doe around out here. He wasn't even worried about them dogs. I was on that far ridge over there. And I could hear them down in this holler. Then they come over the ridge and he was chasing the doe around. Doe kept stopping looking back at the dogs. And he was chasing her. Come on, man. Well, there he is, a North Mississippi sale film dog hunting buck. All right, while I'm sitting here waiting, I was gonna show y'all some of the stuff we used to help keep up these dogs. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that good. 
We run GPS collars on these dogs. Helps us keep up with them. Helps, them, helps us get them caught up fast. What I like about it is you can learn travel routes. You can learn how the deer travel. They, with certain wind directions, the deer travel a certain way. Like in these cutovers, they like to run these SMZs. And you just kind of learn where you need to be when the dogs are running one. We all got radios in our pickup. Radios, they help us help each other keep up with dogs. And it helps us know where everybody is, keep up with each other. So that's just a couple of things we use. All right, there's a big buck spotted right here last night. We're going to see if we can get him up. We're going to try to get him up where we can see, see what point he is. What? I hope it's a 10 point because 10 points are so big. And... We're fixing to let the dog out when everybody gets ready. <laughs> so, we are at a spot and there's dogs close. We're we think it's a buck. We got, we are set up, got ready. We're going to watch for something to shoot. We're going to see what it is. I can hear it running right down through here. Does the deer just come by us going to the water tanks? Where is he? Yeah. The uh, tri-colored dog, is he in there with the red dog? The other red dog now? Yeah. It's gonna be running, so you gotta just as soon as it comes out, shoot. Get that other one. Talk sweet to it. Kind of see where we're running this morning see how thick this mess is and right up here there's a cut over that's probably I mean, it's probably six years old just real thick and these these deer just get in here and they don't come out so we'll kind of get around a block like this on all the exit routes and turn loose in it they got one going now.
Maybe you can hear that. It's just rumbling there. I'm going to get back out of here and cross and get quiet. Maybe something will spook something out. I see a lot of deer. The dogs ain't running. They just get spooked out. Just come slipping back out. All right, JB, just seen these dogs running a good buck. I'm going to try to beat them in here just like see if I can see him coming across the back of it. Just shot a good one down. Let's see if I can. I suck her swimming this lake. Dogs are running. You see him laying right over there. Let's see if I can get one down. Get into the middle of these. I can hit the Yeah! I need more bullets! I don't I don't want to go up to my shoulders. That beaver on is supposed to be deep deep. When I walked off, before I walked back to y'all, I scoped him. He was laying out there in that stuff. Somebody, his horn shot. Gut shot him. Shot in the horns. Shot in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Good yes, good All right, I want to kind of talk about how I got into dog hunting. When I was young, really, 
there's really nobody in my family that had deer dogs. I grew up coon hunting my granddaddy. He always had black and tan coon hounds. He was real big in coon hunting. So that got me into dogs, loving hunting with dogs. But when I was about eight years old, my daddy, he was a bricklayer. And he was, it was opening day of deer season. And he was trying to finish the house he'd been working on. So he wasn't able to go, but he called the homeowner and the homeowner told him I could hunt behind their house while he worked. So that morning he went and set me on a stump and I had been sitting there in no time and I could hear some beagles coming and they come in running two does and I was able to kill one of them. It was my first deer. So I kind of got hooked on dogs then. And then when I was about 10 years old, I was walking to a deer stand gonna get in it and I heard a dog coming and I got ready and it run a nice eight point by me and I was able to kill it as my first the first good deer I ever killed so that really that really got me hooked on dogs and hunting with dogs and when I was probably 16 or so I had some buddies that had dogs and I got to hunt with them and ended up getting me a few and just kind of fell in love with it raising them running them starting them from puppies and now i love i love to bow hunt and i love to go out midwest hunting and stuff but there's just something about it here mississippi this time of the year and dog hunting i, I just can't get away from but comment below tell me what you think about dog hunting if you've ever dog hunting dog hunted before killed a deer with dogs tell me about it Give a video a like. We'll see you on the next one.